Welcome to Collections A to Z, a video series from Eastside Heritage Center. I'm Stephanie, the Collections Manager here at EHC. Today, we'll be talking about cassettes. All magnetic media have a similar structure, a base or substrate layer, and a thin binder layer. Floating in the binder layer are the magnetic particles whose configuration determines the information content. In our collection, we have both audio cassettes and video cassettes. Our audio cassette collection is larger and is primarily made up of oral history recordings. These interviews were conducted in the 1980s and 1990s. We're currently working through a digitization process for all of our oral history tapes. You can expect magnetic media to last 10 to 30 years with proper storage. It's best to keep original cassettes, even if a copy or transcription has been made. Technology is ever evolving, and better or clearer copies may be possible in the future. It's relatively inexpensive to maintain cassettes in proper storage, even though they will gradually degrade. Here are some quick tips for storing cassettes. Fast forward and rewind tapes before storage. Make sure that the tapes are correctly wound evenly and smoothly. Store all tapes vertically in acid-free boxes or containers. Store in an area where the temperature stays lower than 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius. Avoid temperatures below freezing. Humidity should be between 20 and 40% relative humidity. Do not store cassettes on wooden shelving in a basement or an attic. Keep in mind, the more a cassette is handled, the more it is contaminated with fingerprints and debris. If the content is important, you should copy it now. For preservation purposes, it's best to make three copies for all magnetic media. Preservation masters, duplication masters, and reference copies. Cassettes are a unique material to work with. They're made up of magnetic tape, stored in a plastic case. And this mix can be a challenge to store long-term. First, the plastic case. Cassettes should be stored upright on shelves, like books. Piling tapes on top of each other puts stress on the cassettes at the bottom of the stack. This can cause the plastic case to warp and crack. Playing a tape with a damaged case can ruin the tape and the playback equipment. Second, the magnetic tape. Longer playtime on a cassette means thinner tape, which makes them more likely to stretch or snap during playback. Cassettes that are 90 minutes or longer are also more likely to print through, in which an echo may be heard when the tape is played. Do not drop magnetic media. The shock of impact can disrupt some of the magnetic particles and result in lost information. Store tapes in a played condition sometimes known as tails out or an archival wind. This way, the tape is stored with lower tension, as opposed to the higher and probably uneven tensions of rewind. Tapes should be rewound just before playing. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to our cassette collection. If you'd like to learn more about Eastside Heritage Center, visit our website at eastsideheritagecenter.org and subscribe to our channel so you never miss another episode of Collections A to Z.